Hello guys. Welcome to Top Anime Sensei. This video is the continuation video after Rimuru's surprise visit. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. The link is in the description. And please check out my second channel Anime Sum Up for the amazing recaps of different anime. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start please like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates. Speaking of which, having a commander of the Holy Knight Order as their lecturer was honestly incredible. Is Fritz San the lecturer for today? Oi oi, please stop with the San. Your Majesty Rimuru, you can drop the honorific. Ah, really? In that case, drop the Your Majesty too. That would be inappropriate. Please allow me to call you Rimuru-sama at the very least, or else, every citizen in this nation is going to look at me differently. This guy seemed to be someone that wasn't mindful of social status. Yet he was still cognizant of the fact that he couldn't directly address me by my name. You have a point, you'll need to wait until you're out of the public eye in order to relax honorifics, it's a bit inconvenient here. Thank you for understanding. All right, putting that aside. Thank you so much for assisting with the school activities. Please don't say that, seriously, compared to the rigorous training assigned by Hanada-sama, a mission like this is honestly heaven. You get food until your tummy is full, and more importantly the children's respect. All the knights have been fighting over the gig. I see. Fritz's straightforward attitude naturally made him exceptionally affable, but I didn't want to be oblivious of the time and place as he had been. Ho, oh, congratulations then Fritz, was my training too rigorous, hmm? I fine-tuned the training based on your strength, but apparently it is getting in the way, a cruel voice drenched Fritz. Hanada entered the scene, suddenly, the whole area was filled with a tense aura. The children, and even the adults that had gathered, all straightened their backs and didn't dare to move a muscle. The teachers had the same reaction, I wasn't sure whether to laugh at this or not. It went without saying that Fritz was tonight's biggest loser. A, Hanada-sama? Misunderstanding. Yes, it's all a big misunderstanding. That was just bureaucratic talk. Fritz tried his hardest to save himself given the conversation, yet I could already tell that he was irredeemable at this point. I hurriedly made myself scarce and sought refuge. Hopefully Fritz wouldn't suffer any ill fate in the future. We went inside the labyrinth. Hanada joined me, coupled with the five children and Kumara. I have been awaiting your arrival, Rimuru-sama and Hanada Dono. Hakuro came out to welcome us. You look as lively as ever, how wonderful. It appeared that the two of them had formed a friendship before I knew it, the two greeted each other amicably. My apologies for asking you to come out here when you are already so busy, Hakuro admitted. No no, not at all, the major issues have all been resolved, I reassured. I see, have you decided who to send to the council? Yes, a newcomer recruited by Diablo, I named her Testarossa, I'll introduce you two next time. Named her? It is best to pretend that I didn't hear that last part, muttered Hanada. The reason why I invited you today was to show you the progress of the children's growth. Hakuro Dono and I both have been instructing them, so I wanted to update you on their current situation. Ah, I didn't quite get what was going on, but I figured the conversation should continue first. Since you said it like that, have they grown a lot? Grown a lot, I guess, you'll find out when actual combat starts, the labyrinth is really convenient. You can fight at full force with no risk of actually dying, Hanada reminded with a smile, terrifying as always. She had the dark aura of a sadist around her. I get it, then I'll use my clones as their opponents. Yeah. I haven't fought against Rimuru Sensei in forever. This is awesome, Sensei. Please observe how much I've improved. The normally reserved Gale started to warm up to the proposal as well. Ryota resembled his usual fussy self, but since he hadn't called quits yet, it meant that he had acquired a level of confidence already. One hour later, you guys, you guys haven't you haven't gotten, gotten a little, a too, little strong? too strong? My voice echoed throughout the labyrinth. Kenya had indeed become more powerful than the average holy knight, he synergized beautifully with the light spirit. Using bizarre stances that you would only see in manga, he brought out these phantasmagoric sword techniques. Ryota's swordsmanship was not as strong as Kenya's, despite that, he could use both water and wind spirit magic strategically. Gale, conversely was well balanced, his cautious personality made him focus more on defense, and he utilized his shield and sword cleverly. He also incorporated earth elemental spirit magic to make his defense almost indestructible. While the boys surprised me, the girls were even more impressive. First Alice, 
No wonder people called her Empress. She pulled out a number of dolls from thin air, which were made of Magisteel like Beretta. They snarled at me as if they were alive. Her puppeteering skill was getting stronger, and this time, the puppets were no play dolls. If she had faced anyone else, it could have been dangerous. Moreover, Alice had one more card up her sleeve. There was a massive number of swords floating in midair that targeted me constantly throughout the battle. There was no pattern to their trajectories. If I didn't have predict future attack, I probably would have taken a couple of hits. In a few years time, she may be able to rival a holy knight commander. Let's not forget about Kumara. Come out everyone, demonstrate your power before Rimuru-sama, she shouted while unleashing her power. Her nine tails began glowing golden and twisted behind the cute girl. The next instant, her tails turned into beasts. A, hey, I should have seen this coming, but the creatures that flew out startled me, as expected from Clayman's ace in the hole. She was already tremendously tough with the beasts summoned from her two tails, and there were eight of them this time. Her ninth tail seemed to be her own, while the rest were all magical beasts, each creature was over rank A. An average holy knight, in all likelihood, wouldn't even be able to touch one of them, they could also share their combat experience, making their coordination flawless. Based on what I saw, she had the potential to beat Fritz and the others. This little girl was on par with the ten great saints, I know it may sound like I was joking, but I was telling the truth. Once the beasts from her tails gained more combat experience, she would definitely become an unbelievable force, she may eventually live up to the name of the 90th floor guardian. The last one was Chloe. Her skills with the sword was scary. She was faster than Kenya. In fact, much more than that, I battled against six people in total this time. However, Chloe was the only person that I fought seriously. Actually, I was treating the situation too lightly. Chloe was so strong that had I not fought her earnestly, I honestly would have been in danger. Obviously, I wouldn't have died even if I had gone easy on her, but it was definitely humiliating if I lost in front of the kids. I really didn't want to embarrass myself here, that was why I had to fight seriously. Please don't call me childish, I would never hold back to preserve the little dignity I still had. I can understand your feelings. Indeed, I was just like Rimuru-sama, I needed to show everything I had battling against little Chloe. Seriously, even Hanata and Hakuro who were both more skillful in swordsmanship than me, had trouble fighting Chloe. I was genuinely shocked, knowing the innocent Chloe was so powerful made me shiver. Ah, you guys are so good. Right? Hearing Sensei say this fills me with confidence. But Chloe Chan was the really strong one, even though everyone calls me the Empress, I've never won against her. Yeah, Chloe is so different, she looks so gentle at first glance, but she's super scary when angry, and angry Alice isn't scary at all, but when Chloe gets angry, we have to pray. Alice jumped up, furious, and shouted, what did you just say? Ryota and Gail simply nodded in agreement. It looked like the boys were all on the same page. Kenya was quite strong as well, I remarked. Although, your stance and swordsmanship could use some work, consider them your weak points, if you can refine those, you will move even more fluidly. His moves felt like they were inspired by manga, Although they looked wonderfully dashing, it was detached from traditional swordsmanship, and he made many unnecessary moves. If he could fix this, Kenya would become stronger too. That's precisely it. No matter how I teach him, Kenya just won't budge. Hanada sighed, baffled. She had noticed it as well. I can't help it either. That pose was taught by Masayuki-san himself. Huh? Did that idiot have to teach Kenya such superfluous sword techniques? I mean, it did look pretty cool in hindsight, so it wasn't entirely useless. But knowing Masayuki's actual skill, it suddenly made me think that such a stance was completely trivial. No wonder the stance looked like it came from manga, it clearly was. Alright then, there's no use talking. I shall instruct you personally to remove your bad habits, Hakuro interjected. Hikuro's method was different from Hanada's in the sense, that he wasn't entirely faithful to traditional swordsmanship. It seemed that he was keeping some of his more heretical techniques to himself, which was why if he found some skill useful yet non-traditional, he would focus on refining those techniques in secret. Thankfully, it appeared what Kenya learned was not entirely wasted, I left the rest to Hikuro. As opposed to that, Chloe's swordsmanship was quite similar to Hanada's, your moves were very beautiful and effective. Chloe smiled happily at my praise. Yeah, it looked just like Shizu-sensei's, that's why I have been working hard to imitate it. 
Even though you call it imitation, it's not that simple to learn. It may be a different case if you learn by using skills like I do, but you've mastered this entirely through your talent and hard work, you should feel proud. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched my other videos, then please watch them. The links are in the description. And don't forgot to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.